All right, we're back. Let's get this part done. And then I'll, like I said, I'll have uh, the third video. Because um, I, I still got a few more movies coming in, so it'll be three videos total. So I'll have that last video towards the end of the month. Um, earliest would be like the 29th. Um, that night. So, all right. Oh, my camera's falling down. Here we go. Okay. All right, let's get started. Um, the one that I finally just said, what the hell? Um, pulled the trigger, got it cheap. Uh, X rental, that kind of thing. Disc is in good shape, so that's all that matters. And that is Nail Biter. I couldn't resist. Um, something tells me it's going to be one of those movies that it's. It might be forgettable. I'm going to actually watch this tonight because I'm tired of being curious about it. So it deals with a monster and a couple that try to run away from a tornado and get into this storm shelter or something like that. And it turns out that they're not alone and there's some sort of creature. And Yeah, I've read a lot of reviews whenever I remember to about this movie. And... Um, mm, Got a cheap, so no biter, dirt cheap. I get this at Trade Smart with some credit. So that is that. And next is um, Nutbag. Um, so um, I watched this one, and this is definitely one that I um, I'm glad I watched while my wife had a ladies' night with her friends. So that's the only, that's the only way I can be able to watch a movie of this caliber. <laughs> So, Nutbag, I still need to get, um, but that's long out of print. I'll probably, I'm, I might have, just have to suck it up, because I don't ever know if it's going to get re-released. But I still have to check out Murder Set Pieces, um, preferably the uncut edition. I know there's like a, a Reddit R ver edition floating around out there, but I, I don't want that one. So, I want to see it uncut. But, um, Nutbag, pretty cool, uh, reversible cover with the original, I guess, DVD that was also long out of print. Um, so it's nice to have this off the wish list. That's just another one of those movies I've been curious about. But Nutbag. Nutbag. Alright, next one is a really amazing edition from Grindhouse Releasing. I'm pretty sure, in fact, I know I'm sure that everybody and their grandmother has shown this one already. And rightfully so. It's an amazing addition um, to an awesome, freaking awesome movie that I'm embarrassed to say I only... I only discovered roughly five years ago and I felt like I wanted to crawl under a rock and die after I watched this movie I knew nothing about pieces until I was damn near in my 30s it's it's criminal but I'm just I remember it was actually a YouTube update as like what well, was my first channel this is actually my second third channel um, but it's an awesome slasher um, sort of Jallo-esque kind of slasher. Everybody knows about this movie. I don't know what I'm doing. But um, Grindhouse releasing. I, I, they're pretty cool with coming out, coming out with like a, um, a soundtrack, which is awesome. And um, I'm still going to keep my uh, two-disc DVD edition that's also released by Grindhouse because that's just a nice DVD. So I'm going to keep that one too. And... Um, mine does come with the, uh, limited, I, I pre-ordered from Amazon, you know, I, I, so I did take a gamble. I did find out that, the, uh, if you ordered from Diabolic, you were guaranteed the, um, I'm making sure it's not, because it is, it does show like a nude woman, so I'm, I'm making sure it's flipped over. I just pre-ordered early in Am from Amazon and just took a gamble. Um, I'm one of those collectors, I, I like to have everything, too, so I... I, I'm I was happy when it was included with my included so I'm not gonna lie I like to have that's just the collector in me I like to have everything too um, so but if I didn't get it it wouldn't be you know I wouldn't go I definitely you know wouldn't worry um, but that's that that's an awesome really awesome movie um, and. I usually do something like that. I usually do order from uh, Diabolic, but I had already pre-ordered from Amazon. I was just too lazy to cancel, but it, it worked out anyway. Um, the Sinful Dwarf. Um, I'm I'm a newbie when it comes to this movie. This is another one of those movies. Uh, just by reading reading doing some re research on, 
I've never seen it before, so it's I gotta wait till like um um you know everybody's in bed and I I have like I'm a night owl or my wife has like ladies night, so I'm I can't, I'm looking forward to checking this out. I just I've been hearing over the years that it's just bonkers, totally nuts. So the sinful dwarf, looking forward to checking out that nutty movie. Um, next is uh. I, I love this sequel. I don't... Okay, this is definitely one of the the few 90s horror movies that I really loved. I even had this poster. I remember. It was a lenticular poster. A friend of mine worked at a video store and hooked me up for free this poster. And that was... That was, like, the only kick-ass poster I had at the time, and I loved it. It was lenticular, and... Um, I just love this image, and I love the color of this image. I do like the new artwork to it. But anyway, I'm rambling. The movie itself is just 90s schlock. A 90s way of writing a love letter to just schlocky uh, monster movies. I love Species 2. It's a fun sequel. Um, so and I, I, like, I even like Part 3. Part 4 I never bothered to watch because i think that's one of those lazy types i've made for sci-fi channel sequel quick cash grab type movies but I, I do enjoy part three as well but part two i definitely enjoy so species two this was a no-brainer um i had to i had to upgrade um i love the the patrick that just the vicious hideous looking beast um so yeah here's the double feature uh, I'm gonna check out part four. I just, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know when. Um, but part three, I, 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 I think is really fun. It's been a while since I've watched part three, but um, there's that. And then, uh, just another one of those I wasn't sure about, but I figured, uh, let me just jump on it. Um, eventually, it's Code Red, and I know Code Red's been putting out a lot of blues lately, so. But I figured I'd take a chance anyway and grab this DVD. It was, um, I think it was one of the ones that were set on sale on, this, on the Big Cartel site. So Stigma, uh, it's a new one on me. I've never heard of it, but I read up a little bit about it, and it seems, it seems kind of cool. So Stigma. All right, next is, um, let me get more comfortable. Um, Tales from Terror. From Tokyo and all over Japan, uh, the collection. So, glad to finally get this one off my wish list. A uh, really decent, nice addition, all uh, separate discs. And uh, definitely shave, saves on shelf space. Which reminds me, I will not be having a problem with, because I took a tour of the new house, and I got a full finished basement. So, um, lots of wall space, so looking forward to building. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I'll mention, I'll be sure to mention that sometime in April or something. Give, give you guys a heads up on what's going to go down. Anyway, Tales of Terror, um, looks like a lot of fun. I'm sure there will be, um, over 500 minutes of, on five DVDs. So, so that looks pretty cool. So, yep. Tales of Terror, and oh yeah, got it protected because um, it's a steel book. So this is a big upgrade. Uh, the only DVD that I had of this movie was the old, and I'm talking old. I'm pretty sure it's the first Anchor Bay DVD edition that I have. I say had because I don't have it no more. There's no reason to keep it after getting something like this. Um, but yeah, that's the only that's the only uh, addition I had. So this is a a big 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 upgrade for me. Um, Terror Beyond Belief. And this is a beautiful still book. I know Rom's reviews showed this off like five months ago. I don't know. He showed it off a long time ago. He got his in early, and um, I appreciated him uh, just showing the inside and everything. So I'm not gonna. Everybody, I'm sure a lot of people have already shown this. So but it's a it's a great movie. Um, not my favorite by Argento. It really isn't. You guys are going to laugh when I tell you my favorite movie by Argento. You're really going to laugh compared to like a masterpiece like this. Uh, my favorite is Phenomena. Um, I've always known it as Creepers growing up, but that's my favorite, and it always will be my favorite Argento movie. 
um, creepers are phenomenal. So, but uh, yeah, this is amazing. Tenebri, Tenebri, am I saying that right? You guys, let me know how how, how that. How, that, how do you say that? Okay, another big one off the never-ending old wish list, and that is the... I am going to butcher this director's name. Hidishi Hinyu's Hin, Hin uh, Theater of Horror. Um, big, fat box set. I'm glad to finally get off the wish list. Um, comes with Death Train. The... Um, what is it? Occult Detective Club, The Doll Cemetery, The Ravaged House, along with, I think, I guess some of these are double features. I just got this in, guys, so I apologize. I'm, I'm really ignorant about this. Uh, Zuraku's Disease, Lizard Baby, that looks like fun, Dead Girl Walking, The Boy from Hell, which is, I guess, right there, but... Finally glad to get that off the way. Look at that little scary. Anyway, uh, finally glad to get that off the uh, the um, wish list. So that is that big theater of horror box set. And continuing on, another one that I got really excited about. Now I need transmutations in my collection. Now that I have transformations. So um, oh yeah, the original. Um, VHS cover art definitely had to flip that around. I, it was tough for me. I like both covers actually. Uh, both of them are pretty neat. And the menu, the the menu for this movie is really cool looking. It's all starry and it's got the creature there. And this is just a cool low budget sort of slimy, gooey kind of movie. Um, I never knew it had a hitting message in this movie. I watched the special features and I was like, oh, that's crazy. I didn't know that. But it's a fun little movie, um, real low budget sci-fi horror movie. So transformations finally being rescued from obscurity. So that's awesome. So that one and Monster Dog were like I was jumping up and down um, when those got announced. And another one, um, been curious about this one because I do like it came from outer space. So, and I never knew it had a sequel, or at least a made-for-TV sequel. It came from Outer Space Part 2, and probably all these movies are terrible. I, I don't know. I don't, I've never, uh, this sounds so cliche to say, but I've never heard anybody talk about these damn movies. Um, or, you know, I've never, prob probably have, I just haven't found any form online where these movies have been mentioned. But anyway, it's the ultimate sci-fi movie marathon, Androids, Aliens, and the Fountain of Youth. Um, it comes with the Android Affair. It, Like I said earlier, it came from Outer Space Part 2. Uh, deep Red, which I'm not sure... I'm, I, I, that's probably a different kind of de different Deep Red. Um, Evolution's Child, Night Visitors, and Control Factor. I'm mainly interested... And this is... This surprised me in how nice this edition is. Um, I'm mainly interested in uh, It Came From Outer Space Part 2 because that guy's like all... Um, you probably can't see that, but he's all mutated looking and he's sort of grabbing onto this chick. Kind of reminds me of Incredible Melting Man scene or something. But you open this up and it's actually really nice. I mean, it's got like this cool um, starry, starry back space background in each movie on its own disc sort of thing. So I, I just wasn't expecting this set to be this nice. So that was a, that was a uh, really cool surprise. So, so the ultimate sci-fi movie marathon. Okay. Uh, another one, I'm a newbie to this movie. Um, been on the fence about it for a while. Uh, every review I come across, it, it always mentions the word creepy and very atmospheric but mostly creepy and that is the original the vanishing um i have seen the one with keith sutherland and it's okay but i've never seen the, the original one so i'm glad to finally add this to the collection uh, i'm pretty sure i'm gonna dig it um i've been warned a buddy of mine told me that um to um don't look at the menu, I believe, because that's sort of a spoiler. Um, so, 
I'm going to try and go sh to play straight to the movie So when I get a chance. So anyway, The Vanishing. Next is one that I really enjoyed. I love this movie, and that is Victor Frankenstein. I love everything about it. I love the way the Frankenstein looks. It's this perfect blend of classic with, you know, a bit modern. Um, but uh, definitely has sort of that... Um, What's the comic book artist I'm thinking of? He's known for doing realistic drawings of like Batman and Superman and ah, what's his name? Is it Alex Ross? Well, that's what this Frankenstein sort of reminds me of. He has like the real strong jawline, and I kept thinking Alex Ross type artwork when looking at the Frankenstein. Um, I guess because of the way the shadows were hitting his face and that kind of thing. But the movie itself is awesome. It's it's good to know more it's good to just to watch more backstory with victor frankenstein himself or should i say frankenstein's monster excuse me i'm one of those that i do have a habit of calling the monster frankenstein it's just i've said that since i was a kid and it's a tough habit to break but anyway i do know the difference <laughs> but uh victor frankenstein it was cool to get back more backstory from the mad scientist himself as with the the Igor, so um, I, and it's just great atmosphere, just everything, the acting. Uh, I love this movie. This is a good movie. Um, so and it's one of those movies I, I I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find myself wanting to watch. Uh, definitely around October. So it's an October kind of movie for sure. So Victor Frankenstein, I loved it. And then last for this video is visceral uh between the ropes of madness um somebody reviewed this i just subscribed to a couple months ago but gosh dang it, i can't it's like hardcore gore or something like that um it was in one of his like um top 10 gory or um top 10 messed up gory movies so i i pulled the trigger on this one i wasn't this is one of those from on earth that i wasn't sure about I know I have been collecting a pretty good bit of horrors from this label, but this was one I wasn't sure about, so I figured I'd pull the trigger. He got, his, his video got me curious about it. So that's it, guys. Uh, like I said, look for the, you know, if you got time towards the end of the month, be sure to stop by and check out the rest of my movies I get in this month. Um, that third video will come soon, so... That's it. Uh, as always, uh, keep collecting, keep watching the horror movies and all that good stuff. So, later.